The following is a special presentation of GTCN Sports. From the GTCN studios on the campus of the Georgia Institute of Technology, here is Kelly Stiegel. You can say that Logan Walls was born to play football here at Georgia Tech. The hard-hitting defensive tackle is the third of three Walls brothers to play football for the Jackets. And as you will find out, it was his family that made the transition from small town to the big city much easier. Let's find out more about his incredible story as Jerry Lanier sits down with Logan Walls. I really enjoyed growing up in Dawsonville, Georgia. It's just a small town, probably about an hour north of Atlanta. And it's just a really close community. I knew everybody in the community. I knew everybody in school, you know, and everybody knew me. I really like that. And then you come down here and it's kind of, you're just kind of out on your own. <laughs> and then also up there, it's a big difference in, in traffic. You go <laughs> down here, you'll sit in traffic all day and you can go up there and never see, <laughs> never see anything. Yeah, I was always really interested in football because I have two older brothers and they always play too, so I never really had a choice, you know, in playing football because it's just what's expected of you. So, And another thing, I guess, that helped me was my two older brothers also went into tech, so I was able to, whenever I was homesick, I could, they lived half a mile away, so whenever I needed to <laughs> see a family member <laughs> instead of driving home, they were, just, they were just a little bit away, so that... that really helped get me through and I think that that's I guess with most freshmen don't have don't have that opportunity so I would say I had a pretty easy transition in just because I had family here to support me. The biggest thing with me is I had to learn time management I had to learn it really fast because if you you know if you don't know how to manage your time then you're gonna have a test that you know you have to cram three weeks of studying into five hours and it's just not going to work so you just have to you have to chip away at it a little bit all the time with the 3-4, you literally have the guy in front of you and you, you really know exactly what you're supposed to do within the 4-3, there's kind of a little more room for interpretation. <laughs> what I like most about it is I'm usually with one person and if I get a second person then it's not always a penalty but usually it is because I'll get a high low block or something like that. So, but with the 4-3, I would get a lot sore because it was me lined up in a gap and I had two 300, 320 pound guys across from me fire, yeah, firing off and, and I was expected to <laughs> not get pushed off so, so I'd, rather, I'd rather go against one, one person than, than two any day so I really, I really enjoy the 3-4. The I just want to be a leader out there on the field. If people have questions I want them to be able to ask me. Especially with the defense I want everybody to know what they're doing and I want everybody to be on the same page. Because in the 3-4, you don't have any room for error. If one person's not doing it right, then there's going to be a big gap. And those result in big plays or touchdowns. And we try to cut those out as much as possible. So I want, I want everybody to know what they're doing. Everybody to be able to communicate and be on the same page. So I just, whatever I can do to make that happen. I'm the key pretty much. If, I, if I'm doing bad, then everything's going bad. But if I'm doing okay, then everybody, you know, everything will fall into place. Four full years of school and I finally... Felt great walking across the stage, finally all my hard work paid off. A lifetime of work and you finally, you're finally able to <laughs> get your piece of paper that tells you that you did it, man. <laughs> what an interesting story. We thank Logan for spending time with us and wish him all the best in his future endeavors. Until next time, I'm Kelly Stiegel and thanks for watching On the Flats.